Now let me see this old man now. So what if now you find that there's this attack on you and it's not solved and no one can solve it? What will happen to you? And you find that you were assigned to be delivered here and you don't believe. You are coming to say, let me go and see that old man. And you find the same demo is, is causing confusion on you. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what... You don't know what, what will happen. So if we test if power works, if power works and it works for you, you have a testimony. It's not true. Because what we need now is you to live your life. What if when you die here, when you reach before God, God says you never live on earth? Because if you don't do God's will, also when you are not in his presence, you are not living. That's why Paul said they are moving graves. You are just finishing oxygen. Can you see when you are just finishing oxygen, you are, you are just occupying space? Eh? You, are just, you, are, you are just occupying space. And then here, you are, you are coming to chair, you sit in the chair, you pray, nothing happens. This is the time now that you must take what belongs to you by force. You, you, you cannot... You cannot be, I mean, it's useless to associate yourself with charis or a certain church to say, I'm a member of that church, I'm a member of that church. But here your life is caged. And then here you are just occupying space. This is the time now that people must know you are around. You, why you went to school? Why you went to school? You have got a certificate. It's not working. Sometimes you go to school, you have got this certificate, but you are working a different job. You have got a certificate, to, I mean, to, to be an engineer. Here you are working uh, in a hotel. People that, you, you know, you were supposed to be sitting with them, you are the one who gave them drink. You are the one who gave them drink. Now you have got stress now. You are, you are destroying the glasses. Sometimes when you are carrying the, the, the platter, because you have got stress of the certificate you went to school with, you, of, you, you, are, you are just carrying the platter. You, when you reach there, you pour cold drink and, and juice on the people who are important. You are, you are thinking. And this thinking, now you have got depression now. You have got depression now. Now when you go to church, you say every job that... God give me a as well. It's not your portion. You, you're not a child of God that will just do everything. I don't know if you're hearing me. Yeah. You're a child of God that when you say this must happen, yeah. in the name of what? Of Jesus. Yeah. But look what is happening now. When you come to church now, you are, you, you are, you are just occupying space. I'm a member of charities. I'm a member of assemblies. I'm a member of of faith, of faith mission. But nothing is happening. And here he, he died for you. He died for you. There he died for you. You were supposed to be finished. He died for your assignment. He died for your career. He died for your marriage. He, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. This is the time when we leave this church today. You know, I'll just say this like other people will speak. You must leave it with a holy anger. <laughs> you, you, you leave this church with what? With a holy anger. And say, no, 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 no. I can't live this kind of life. I, I represent Christ. Whereby depths everywhere. Whereby you, whatever you want now, you have to cry and go for fasting. Whereby you just have to do things because, you know, it must be done that way, not because you are happy about it. So this is the time that you must take your things by force, in Jesus' name. Amen. I, let me see. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. You, really, like yourself when you are, you are tired, you say, I, 
This makes me sick. Like myself, I'm saying the same to the devil. Devil, you make me sick. Because the people of God now, you people can't worship God. You can't have fellowship with God. You know what you do now? You come to church because you want to solve a problem. That's what is happening now. When I'm turning around here, problems. Everybody a problem. Problem here. Now you don't come to church to worship God. You don't come to church for fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Now you come to church and say, God, my problem. When are you going to solve it? And if the problem is not solved, you change church to another church. If you hear that there's another man of God there, who's called Apostle Jigelele, you go there. You hear this, a prophet cabbage, you run there. You find that you know all the servants of God, but you don't know the Bible. All the servants of God, you know all of them, but you don't know what? You don't even know the word of God. If you say, Makana, you say, oh, I know him, I know any. Which verse? Nothing. When you pray, which verse? What you're going to pray now? You're going to change and say, in the name of God of Makananisa. Hey, hey, the Bible says what? Because you, you know all servants of God. When you are inside the taxi, you want to do like this, you want to fall down. You say, God of, of Makananisa, God of Makananisa. When you see that it's not happening, you call the pastor you don't want. And say, maybe that one can help me now. You don't call scriptures. So God loves you. I believe today you will take your miracle by force. I just believe that. Can you stand up? Take something by four. Can you take it? Can you take something now? When I'm turning around here, uh, problems. Mm. What are you taking? I can't hear you. In the name of Jesus. By force, use the name Jesus. In Jesus' name, sit down. All right. I'm saying it again so that when you live here, you go home understanding what God wants to do with you. You understand? Before I pray for you, I have not started to pray for you. When I pray for you, I will tell you I'm praying for this. When you live here, you must go home with confidence and say, I know God is doing this. If you are called and you are like in the dark, all people who are called, they face challenges. Sometimes they are confused because there are stages. There's number one stage, preparatory stage. If you are called, there's a preparatory stage where God will prepare you so that you must not fail there. Where there's a zeal. Hey, I can do this. I can do that. I can. You, want, you feel like you can win all over the world, but God wants to prepare you. Don't pass that stage. Don't pass that stage. Allow God to finish with you. When you move from here, don't even cry for money. Hey, I want money. I want, hey, if why don't get? Don't cry for money. Money will, must cry for you. Don't cry for money. Don't do what other people are doing. Be different. Be like Daniel, who says, "I can't eat this food. They seem to be nice because they are in the king's house, but let me eat vegetables. It's better I eat things that." You know, they are just coming from God by the will of God. Let me eat vegetables, not these things. I don't want to be associated myself with this. You will see God honoring you. This year is your year. I said, This year is.